Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. At the end of this video, you will be able to discuss excipient. If at a certain point of your life somebody asks you about what excipient is, uh, but before that, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you find this video useful or helpful. So let's begin. The the word excipient originates from a Latin word, Latin word called excipia, which means to means to receive. So it basically receives the active ingredient AI, which stands for active ingredient. Now let's jump on to definition. Let me change the color. Definition. Okay. So what's the definition of excipient? Excipients are basically a substance substance that has no pharmacological gical activity or you can say that they are pharmacologically inactive and the second point is that they have no therapeutic effect which means that if a certain drug has just the excipient part in it, it would not be used to cure or treat any sort of disease or illness. Now the question might pop up in your mind that if the excipient does not have any therapeutic effect then why we use it? What's the purpose of using it, right? There you go. So what's the purpose of using it? Well, First of all, we use it because we need it for manufacturing process. And without excipient, you won't be able to manufacture a tablet or a capsule. So you need it. First purpose is this. The second is that it acts as a carrier for active ingredient. So these are basically the two purposes why we use the excipient. Now we will discuss some examples of excipient. Okay. Examples. These are some of the common examples of excipient. Number one is diluent. Now what does diluent do? Diluent basically increases the weight of a tablet or it increases the bulk of a tablet and it provides the content uniformity let me write it down increase the weight of a tablet or any sort of dosage, dosage form and provides content uniformity the example of diluent is lactose. Lactose is the most common, commonly used diluent. And sorbitol. Sorbitol. The second is... Let me change the color. The second is binder. As the name indicates, binder just basically binds everything you know provides cohesive strength binds everything <coughs> provides provides cohesive strength the example of binder is gelatin paste basically binds everything you know if you don't have a 
binder in your in your formulation you will not be able to form a compact mass and number three I would say is number three is disintegrant why we use disintegrant well the name indicates it is used to used to disintegrate tablet in our GIT gastrointestinal tract the example is starch or cellulose so these are basically a few examples of uh, excipients now I'm guessing that you might probably be able to understand that why we need it for manufacturing process this point over here because if you don't have diluent if you don't have binder if you don't have disintegrant then you won't be able to make a formulation you won't be able to bind everything you know your active ingredient and the rest of the components of your tablet or capsule you won't be able to disintegrate the tablet when you administer it so you definitely need excipients in your formulation so I hope you understood the point and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if the video was helpful thank you and see you in the next video